Yeah. Welcome back, everybody. I'm your host, Killer Sparks. This is Uncensored Whiskey Reviews, and I'm back again with my co-host, Wes. What's up? Dude, when I have my beers like this, mm -hmm. I gotta be careful. Because this motherfucker will touch the actual, not the seat, but the actual basin of a toilet. <laughs> Your dirty shit beard, my fucking. Like, it'll, it'll, if I bleed it forward, oh, it'll freaking touch the actual. That's so. Like, everything where everybody pees. Yeah. So I gotta go. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm going over to the girlfriend's house after we get finished here. Yeah. I'm gonna wash it, go over there, and get her to braid it up. But I think it's so damn long. Man. It's two feet. It's, it's long. I can I can lean back in my truck and it'll touch the steering wheel. It's crazy. All right, so anyway, I got you a surprise today, so I want you to try it and get your own review of it. I know you haven't had it. And I will tell you, it does come from a major distillery. It doesn't smell like bourbon. Hmm. It comes from a major distillery. Yep. Yeah. Major distillery that, Is that vodka? We, we drink all the time. No, it's not vodka. It smells like, smells like uh, aged vodka. I will say it is different, for sure. Comes from a major distillery. Mm -hmm. In Kentucky. In Kentucky. Yeah. And it's not bourbon. It's not bourbon, no. Is it corn whiskey? It's mm -hmm. not mellow corn, is it? No, it's not corn whiskey. No, I'm sure you've had that. Yeah. No, this is something new that came out this year, and I know you haven't tried it. All right, let me put it in my mouth. Go ahead. Is that a single malt? Mm -mm. It's not malted barley. That's corn. That's not. It's not corn? It's a rye. It's a rye? There's no corn in it. That's a very light. It's an 80-20. 80 corn, 20, no, 80, 80, 80 rye. rye, 20 barley. Really? That's incredibly light. Oh. Yeah, because this is going to, so this comes from our friends at Jim Bean. Really? Yes. This is the A overhold. Ha! Huh. And it's, I don't, I'm going to screw this name up. Mongolia Mash. Monongahela. Monongahela Mash. So that's the river in Pennsylvania where Overholt originally started. Oh shit. So what they did was they started sourcing the rye from back in that same valley and all that stuff. And they went back to making it the way Where'd they you did. Find that? Found it in center in that little mom and pop. Oh shit. And stumbled onto it. It's 42 bucks. Dude, that's that's really good. It's, it's different, but it's really, really good. So I'm gonna let because I you know it's only age four years, but you can read that. But they went back with the like the original recipe from back in the day is what they did. Uh, Monongahela mash. This rye whiskey is born from a traditional Monongahela mash bill made of 80% rye grain and 20% soft malted barley for balance. Non-chill filtered, aged four years in new charred oak. I mean, it's... And then I think it says another little story on the other side, maybe. But... We're receive, we're, we are, we're reviving our rise original Monongahela roots in honor of our founder, the proudly Pennsylvanian A. Overholt. Huh. So I saw it and I thought, you know what, that's kind of a cool looking bottle anyway. I like Old Overholt. It's yeah. totally different tasting. It's not, is it the same mash bill as no, Old Overholt? No, I think it's totally different. Huh. I think it's totally different. So I went back and did a little research. Of course, you know. You did what? A little research. No, I didn't dig a lot, but a little bit. So of course, uh, Beam acquired Overholt and uh, Old Granddad back in like says, 1987. Says not for underage. I'm glad they put that on there. Yeah, right. We all know the rules now. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so kind of after they bought them and uh, Old Granddad, they kind of started changing the recipes and stuff. And mm -hmm. old, so Old Granddad's basically just bean now. 
It's the same. It's same. a high ride bead. Yeah, but it's using one of their mash bills. It's not the original mash bill. Yeah. They used the same thing. They changed this. Now they're kind of reviving and going back with this. Of course, they came out with a 10 year and they have the 11 year old over old. And kind yeah. of start, finally starting to revive those brands after they literally crippled them. Yeah. And then now. Yeah, they monopolized them. I mean. Well, they monopolized them, but then didn't use them. Like they yeah. just, they kind of scuttled it and it's now they're bringing them back. Oh, it's it's cool. It's cool. It's, I thought it was a screw on top when I first saw it because yeah. that's how it kind of looks, but it's cool. I mean, that's a good looking bottle. It's a good looking bottle. Looks like you've had a little bit of it. I have had a few drinks. I was like, first one, I was like, hmm. Well, um, and I needed to tie like, have like two more to make sure I like it. That's twice now that you've got some new stuff that was bean products that I haven't had yet. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah I forgot about the... Uh, yeah. Yeah. I didn't actually. I didn't even know this was out. I had never seen it before either. I had to like look it up when I was in the in the store. There. I don't. I don't ever look for anything new anymore. I'm just. I mean, I'll walk around and see if I can see some new. You stuff need to go me. down there with me one day because it is literally the store is twice the size of this room, mm -hmm. and his bourbon area is about the size of this room. But it's just shit shoved everywhere. There's no rhyme or reason to any of it. Is it off of, is it 59? What goes through the middle of the center? Well, it's not on 59, but no, it's, but it's, yeah, it's in, 59 goes through the center, yeah. Or is actually, it the that's, actually, store? that's actually 94. No, it's a tiny store. It's a little mom and pop. It's in town. Because I remember. It's in like the middle of Old Town down there. I remember, I feel like I remember a liquor store being built Whenever I was running parts. This one's been there forever. Has it? Yeah. Hmm. But uh, it's just, there's no rhyme or reason to it. All his shelves are literally, he's got around the wall, he's got tall shelves, but then everything in the middle is literally this tall. And there's just shit stuffed everywhere. So like you have to like move bottles to see what's behind it because there might be a gym sitting back behind. I need to ride down there on my next Monday off, which will probably be in two weeks. Right down there. I mean, and he usually has pretty decent prices on stuff. But he's got gems hidden. That you just never know what's there. I mean, you just you just stumble on shit. You know, I, I tell mean, you, stuff I think is gems, but I mean. Did I tell you that's how I found uh, some like wild turkey rare breed that was like two different releases older at Harley's. They had uh, the three seventy five mm -hmm. old. It was like one hundred eight proof. Right, it was. Four or five bottles behind, and they had rare breed in 375s uh, at the uh, Gilmer in 80. You know they made rare breed in 375s. Not anymore. They used to. I wish they, I wish they made everything in 375s. Mm -hmm. I feel like they do, because if you go to like Total Wine in Dallas, mm -hmm. you can find a fuck ton of 375s. So what do you think of this one? It's good. Yeah. I don't think it's really different. I told Chance I had it. And he he had heard about it. Of course, this is gonna be a rye heavy week. Yeah, of course he had heard about it, but I told him I said I don't. He said I hadn't bought it. I said you probably don't want to buy it because you know he likes that really really light rye right now. Mm -hmm. He doesn't like that super minty. This is minty. Yeah, I can't believe you thought it was a single malt though. Well, it's because of the barley. I mean, it is 20% barley. Yeah, well, there's no corn in it at all, which but, surprised me when I read it. it. It has a very light body to it. Yeah, it's not overpowering. It's very good, though. 95 proof. And it's like 40, 40, I think 42 bucks. I was like, I'm, I'm not I'm mad about that at all. Mm -hmm. Tell you what, um, we have a couple of us. What do you want to make a... I'm all, I got this junior here. Yeah. I mean, this, of course, this is a cash drink compared to that, but. Yeah. You still compare them, kind of. Damn, I'm hot as hell in here, aren't you? I've been sitting outside all day long, babysitting with a smoker. So, this feels comfortable. I'm over sweating. This, old, this is the old granddad bottle, isn't it? Yeah. It is. The 114 bottle? Yeah. I just realized that. I'm pretty sure it is. I've had like four of these and just realized this is the old granddad bottle. Show some attention up, buddy. God damn it. That big neck on that big Are you trying to get me in trouble? That's what we do here. Oh, that's a completely different whiskey. Yeah, I don't think they're even close to the same. Mm -hmm. No, they smell totally different. Yeah. Two different whiskeys. This one just is really, really light bodied. 
Um, fantastic. Yeah. I mean, I think I like the old Overholt profile better. This one? Yeah. You know, this one's off profile. Not just because of the cast strength, but you know we need to pick up a like a regular one, cheap one. And Harley's has them. Yeah. Yeah. And he had them down there in center too. I didn't grab them. I actually never tried it. The overhaul bonded. Yeah, I've never tried it. Oh yeah, you looked over there and you saw the old granddad. You're like, oh, that's the same bottle. <laughs> exactly. Which he had some of that, which I hadn't seen in months. They got a fuck ton of it. I thought they had it at Harley's. Well, I haven't been at Harley's in a while. Oh, like yeah. I told you, I had yeah, That's right. the first time I went to a liquor store in probably four months. Mm -hmm. And it's just because I was driving by, and I was like, I'm gonna go just pull into this guy. Yeah. You talk to the guy? Oh, yeah. He, he loves to talk. Yeah. Which is always a good thing, because he'll go to, I mean, especially if you start buying some shit, he'll yeah. go to pulling shit out of the back, and he's, he's one of those guys. He, like, he, if he realizes you appreciate it, and you're not mm -hmm. just buying to, Try to flip it. He'll he'll start. Well, that uh, you know that half gallon old Taylor that I have. Mm -hmm. Those are the ones that gave me that. Oh, they just yeah. gave it to me. But I already spent like 150 bucks in there, so they're like, here, just take this too. <laughs> I'm like, okay, well, I'll use it to mix shit with. I mean, yeah. and it works fine for mixing. So cheap shit, I'm gonna give to my friends. Yeah. Oh, this. I'm just a big fan of this old. Overhauled cast it's, strength. I think they're both fantastic. This one gets you hammered though. This one's 120 per 121. Yeah, but they don't drink like 121 though. Yeah. And uh, just a preview this is what we're going to be doing in the next video Knob Creek 10 year rye. Oh, so. that's right. I forgot you told me about that. Yeah. You pay attention to what Chance had in when he texted us earlier? It was uh, Bardstown. Well, no, he, he's also got, did you see the sample? What, it said that's Old the, Forester. No, it's Old Fitzgerald 25th year. Oh. That one that's been aging for freaking. Oh, well, there was like a bunch of freaking letters there. I didn't know the fucking minute. Well, if you, if you zoom in, mm -hmm. it says Old Fitzgerald 25th year. He got a sample of that bottle. You know, that one they brought, sent out, put out earlier this year. It says 13 year. VVS 2023. It's 25th anniversary. 25th Old anniversary. Fitzgerald 25th anniversary. Yeah. yeah. It's a 13 year. It's a 13, yeah. No, I thought you were saying it was 25 year. No, it's the 25th anniversary of it. They released oh, it's it this the year. 20, well, it says 2023. Hell, I don't know. It says 2023. Versus 2023. I don't know. Chance. I don't know. Shit. He's got something good. Yeah. I want to try that weeded. Oh, yeah. The uh, Origin Series weeded? Yeah. 106 proof. Mm hmm. Disco number 12, 115.2. Those are like $120 a bottle now. I know. They're so expensive. I'm so fucking sick and tired of paying $80 for a bottle of whiskey that I want. Well, I've kind of. I say this, and we'll see what happens because we know my self control. But I said that I'm just going to stop buying bottles over 100 bucks. Yeah, I'm not, I don't disagree with that. Uh, because I can find other things. And now there's going to be a few exceptions to that rule. Yeah. But like, I'm not going to go buy Russell's 13 and 15 years when I can get single barrel selects. Yeah. And I know they're going to be pretty damn good. Just like Chance was drinking that Russell's, it was 16 years old the other night. I don't know what you was paying for a pour of that. 50 bucks. Uh, Wasn't bad. No. Wasn't bad. He, I, I, I talked to him, he said it's 50 bucks. I paid 50 for a fucking pour of Russell's 13 year before you ever got yours. Yeah. He was, you were heading to Mexico. Mm hmm. You had that the night before you were heading Two years ago. Yeah. It was 2022. Yeah. But, yeah, so certain things I'm not going to. Pay those crazy you remember that? 
steel trap here, baby. <laughs> hey, Leo. Yeah, because you were at the bar not before you flew out. Yeah, we went to Whiskey Cake in mm -hmm. Dallas. Remember you told me about It's a pretty cool bar. I mean... I haven't been there yet. It's fucking... I mean, overpriced, but... Well, yeah. They got a, a massive whiskey selection. Most bars are overpriced, though. Yeah. But, yeah, so... Well, cool. I got to surprise you again. Hell yeah. That's something you, you like. That's two well, in a row you like. Yeah. And... You keep bringing bring me shit that I hate, so... What are you talking about? You keep bringing me it's like scotch. Well, <laughs> it's a, you know, you know, fire for effect. <laughs> That's what we're doing. Because we want to get your uh, reaction on them. I just don't like them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. so, once again, I can't pronounce it, so you can pronounce it. Monongahela. Monongah... Uh, Mongols. No. <laughs> that is a motorcycle club. Monon. Nope. That's yeah. a region also around China. Or that's Mongolia. Mongolia. Mongo were, Mongols are from were. Mongolia. Yeah. See, motorcycle club stole that shit. Well, yeah. Fucking Monon. cultural appropriation out there. Monongahela. Monongahela. Oh, it said it in Spanish. <laughs> Monongahela. Monongahela. <laughs> Stupid. Mm. Hey. Speaking of fucking Mongols, uh, do you ever notice the, uh, the, the, oh. What are we talking about here? Um, I, mean, I, don't, I don't know where you're going on this. The Great Wall of China. Yeah. Yeah. The ports where you, like, aim your arrows and shit, mm -hmm. you know, this is back in the day of bone arrows and shit, are on the wrong side of the wall. Are you sure? Yes. It's on the China side, like the... Port where you pull the. Well, I'm sure it's on both sides. No, it's not. Are you sure about this? Yes. Look up pictures. It's on the wrong side of the wall. The Great Wall of China is not the Great Wall of China. It was built to keep the Chinese out of the other I side. I disagree. No, it is. Well, you know, it's never one continuous wall either. Yeah. Like, but still. Like, if you've ever looked at the maps of it, like there's a wall here and it might run a couple hundred miles. But then 200 miles north of that, there's another wall. Yeah. And it's not like one continuous giant wall. Images. Yeah, dude. Now, I, this doesn't show you which side is which. But you see, this would be the side you're firing the arrows from. And this side's short. And you can see it. It's all the way fucking down. Okay. Well, how do we know that's not north? I don't know. But it's only on one side. And I'm pretty sure it's on the Chinese side. I've read that. I've never been there, so I don't know. It's another conspiracy theory. You and your damn conspiracy theories. Yeah. We'll have to go to China one day. Yeah, because they're going to love us. <laughs> we'd probably be, we'd probably be, it'd, it'd be easier for us to get in Mongolia than China. I think I'd rather go to Mongolia. I'm pretty sure we'll get killed either, what, either place. No, nah, man, they'd love us. I don't think they would. Yeah, Mongolians? Yeah, we'd fit right in. They're burly men and staunch women. But we could go to a country like Kazakhstan. They got a hell of an arm wrestling club there. Kazakhstan. No fucking shit. So I have a firm rule after I got out of the military. I don't go to any country that ends in Stan. Yeah. I get it. I'm just, it's usually pretty unstable. Yeah. <laughs> That's kind of my personal rule. Have least. you been to many countries? Name three countries you've been to with the last four letters being Stan. Afghanistan and Uzbekistan. Been about those. Okay. Those only two with Stan. Okay. Afghanistan is enough. Yeah, that was that was enough. Yeah. Like I was, I was kind of. Dumb. I almost forgot about that one. But uh, yeah, those were the only two. Fascinating. But. <clears throat> anyway, Great Wall of China. Yeah. I would like to go to China though. I think it'd be cool. Yeah. My uh, oh, my mom and dad tell me stories. Big American penis. They went. Uh, so this was years ago before. Um, now my mind 
just went blank. The uh, what's the damn city right off the coast of China that the British had control of, had the lease on for years? Singapore. No, not Singapore. Um, sure, it's not Singapore. It's not Singapore. Singapore's Thailand. No, it's not. Isn't it? Or Singapore's a country. This is. They uh, went there on vacation. But now it's back under Chinese rule. My oh, shit is moving so slow. Hong Kong. Hong Kong, yeah. So they went to Hong Kong. Uh, late 80s, early 90s. While oh, it was under British rule? It was under British rule, then. Yeah. They had a lease with, from China, basically, on the deal. And, uh, but anyway, they were able to go to China, took a airboat ride over one of like big giant hovercrafts. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. It fills up with air and they float. They went over to China like on a little tour for the day. They said it was the most fucked up shit they've ever seen in their life. Like they just didn't have toilets or anything. It was a third world country. Yeah, I mean literally just a hole in the middle of the street and you just put mine there'd be a dude taking a dump right there in, in a hole in the street. Yeah, it was, it's, it was a third world country fairly recently. Yeah, I mean, well, within the last 30 years. Yeah. So. I mean, they're currently going through their industrial revolution. Yeah. So. Them and India, they which is also a third world country. Oh, yeah. They do the yeah. shit all. That's why the whole fucking oil crisis is bullshit. Why? Because we were supposed to run out of oil 40 fucking years ago, but now you got China and India who are going through their industrial revolutions using more oil than ever. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it is what it is. Yeah. But anyway, I would like to go to China. Yeah. No, I didn't go to India for like a day. I don't, not, not that much appeals to me in India. I would go to Thailand. Fucking Finn. Open that damn door. I'm gonna let them dogs in too. It's a master fucking I could train him to steal jewels and stuff, it'd be awesome. Just, you need to train him to kill fucking deer and wildlife. I brought a snake in today. <laughs> he brought a snake in. Go. Go. That's hilarious. I mean, he's a straight killer. I mean, I'm telling you, dude. Biggie was so mad she found it in her damn clothes. How big was it? Uh, yeah. You know, grass snake? Yeah. They still, he brings them in. Brought a couple of them in alive. Becky's not happy when that happens. So. <laughs> That's hilarious. But, All right. Uh, oh, we need to go to Thailand. That's what we need to do. It is hot as shit in Thailand. I know, but I want All you to year. go there and you go kickbox. I think it'd be awesome to watch you kickbox in Thailand. You want me to get my ass whipped by somebody who's like 5'3", 125 I think it'd be pounds? It'd be, it'd, be oh, wor God. it'd be worth it. Do it for the channel. I grew, <laughs> in, I grew up in a household with that type of person. I don't want to get my ass kicked by somebody like that. Okay, fine. Go to Thailand and we'll play. Is it a woman or a lady boy? I might do that. <laughs> but you've got to reach down and find out. <laughs> we got to get the girlfriend's blessing on that. I don't, I don't want to go to Thailand. We got to get the girlfriend's blessing on that. I don't want to go. I don't want to play this game. <laughs> I don't want to go to Thailand. I mean, I'm not going to play it, but I'll film I'm it. I'm not going to Thailand. No. <laughs> I'm going to up like fucking stew on the hangover. She's like, I came and then you came. And you're like, what beautiful. do you mean you came? Oh, with my sperms. It was beautiful. beautiful. I come and you, you come on floor. Well, it's a good thing about them. They got a little bit dick, so it wouldn't hurt that bad. So, yeah. That'd be funny. Yeah, their national average is like three and a half, four inches. Yeah. Why have you looked that It'd up? Be like this. Why have you like looked? Why have you looked that up? Is what I want to know. That's <laughs> my. That's you've my. You've never question. seen like a, a Nash. You've never seen a. a no, a I've never thought that I need to look that up. I've well, never you, felt you the need. You go fucking doom. I didn't look it up. I was doom scrolling through Instagram or TikTok, no. and then it comes up, and then you like you see the Congo, and theirs is like seven. And then you see like Thailand, fucking no, I've never looked that up. Asian countries, we're we're in the middle, so what? We're good. Because we're all mixed and everything. Yeah. Yeah. So. But like our heritage 
you know, English, Scottish, we're, we're somewhere in the middle. Yeah. You know, five and a half, six. Okay. I'll take your word for it. And I mean, I didn't do a research paper on this like you did. I didn't do a research paper. Oh, that's exactly what I heard. <laughs> anyway. Your one college credit you have was for a research paper on the size of penises. <laughs> well, yeah. At least I got right. one college credit. Guys, if you find this, I'd say it's worth you trying. That's just my opinion. I like rye. And it's good. Yeah, it is good. Yeah. Forty something bucks. I don't think even if you don't like it, it's forty something bucks. You can it's you not can choke bad. it down. It's it well it's it's, it's different. It's very light, so it's not gonna like blow your profile out. You know, your your, your palate, palate, all that shit. So, but anyway, yeah, I think if you can find one of these, I would suggest buying that. Oh, absolutely. Those are these hundred awesome. bucks. Uh, right there, yeah. roundish. Yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I think that's what we got. I gotta go home and check on a brisket, so we need to power through a couple of these. Okay. It's gonna be a bean heavy day. Yeah, it's going to be a beam happy day. And right. Thanks for watching. Like always, like the video, subscribe, share with your friends, hit the bell for notifications, and uh, yeah, drink some whiskey, share it with your friends and family. Be safe, don't drink and drive, take care, and we'll see you next time. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> exactly.